Hi, this is Dreama, and today we're doing a client reading, and as always, I know the name of the client, and they know their name, but I won't be saying it in this video. Now, today's reading is a six-month future forecast reading, okay? We're going to be using a, a half-moon spread, or half-circle, okay? I'm also going to be using the Legacy of the Divine Terra, which is one of my favorite decks, and I connect with it extremely well, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and cut the cards, I will lay the spread out. And it is a six-month reading, so we're going to actually start... Um, we're very close to January, so we're going to actually start in January. So the way it'll work is, this will be January, February, March, April, May, and June. And we're just going to start from this side and work our way around, okay? Okay, looks like our January card we have is the Lover's card. Now, this is an interesting card because this card is not just about love. Um, it's about intimate love. Um, so what I'm seeing is that it looks like next month um, there's going to be some sort of relationship that will flourish, some sort of love relationship. Now, this could be a relationship you're in now or a future person that you may meet. Um, it, that really doesn't say. But whichever it is, um, there's going to be an emotional connection between you and this other person not just a sexual, there's a heart that this forms. So that tells me that this is going to be an emotional connection, a very strong one in January for the client. Okay, and next we have the strength card. Now, this is interesting. I'm not sure if you can see, but um, there is a person, and there's also a lion, and it looks like tigers and things like that. This card really is about strength. Um, but it's not about really physical strength. This tells me that during the month of February, there's going to be many times where you're going to need um, emotional and inner strength, okay? I really believe that that will come to you, but it's going to be a month that where you're going to need that a lot. Um, and I believe that's going to come with this personal relationship, okay? And next we have the Knight of Swords. Now, this is an interesting card. I'm not sure how well you could see it, but um, it's a very strong card. It's also rather dark, okay? And the reason that I say it's rather dark, it's kind of a skull and around it are um, some birds, and it's just really kind of a dark card. Um, what this tells me is that during this month, because the month before you're going to need a lot of strength, there's going to be something that is going on where you almost feel as if um, you're going to have to defend yourself. Um, you're going to get a lot of opposition and resistance in your life. Um, it may be to this relationship that this is referring. Um, I really think that there's somebody in your life that actually is going to cause um, this resistance, okay, about three months out. It's someone very close to you, okay? And then we have the Six of Coins. Now, this is an interesting card because I'm not sure how well you can see, but there's a hand on top and a hand on bottom, and it's dropping coins into another hand. So what that tells me is during that month, your finances are going to improve, okay? Um, there's going to be... It may be a job offer or even a gift from someone. But during this month, uh, your finances will definitely improve, okay? And it's going to be because of someone else. So it could be that it is a new job or something because this hand here is offering uh, finances to you. So that tells me there is someone else involved, okay? Next. Next we have the Three of Coins. Now... This is an interesting card. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but um, this man is looking very diligently at one coin, and he's working very hard on it. And there are a couple of others above his head. So what that tells me is that even though there was this offer, um, you still are going to have to work very hard 
in order to keep that financial stability. This is not something that's going to be easy. You're going to have to be diligent, and it's going to take a lot of hard work in order to keep all this up, okay? And our last month is the Queen of Cups. Now, this is an interesting card. It's a very good card. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see, but um, the Queen is actually kind of surrounded by fish. It's really a good card um, to end things off, you know, for the last month of the six-month reading. And what I'm getting from the Queen, you know, is just that the overall, the six-month period, um, I would say, is actually going to be a good six months. Um, this tells me that um, at the end of the six months that you're going to be at a place where things are much happier for you now than they were then. Um, it's also going to be a time when it looks like all the hard work that you've done is going to pay off. And this, this has to do with relationships, family, money, um, jobs. It looks like everything is going to come together at the end of the six months, okay? And what I'm getting is that this is going to be... There's going to be a lot of success, but it's not going to come without hard, hard work. And there's going to be someone that helps you in that. And that person could be a job offer or a family member. Somebody is going to help you in this endeavor. Okay. Um, however, you will get some resistance. And I think that has to do with this relationship that is going to blossom and actually get better for you. It's going to be better, but you're going to have some opposition to that. Okay. All right, um, that does conclude my reading for today, and I would like to thank everyone for joining me, and I do hope to see you all again.